Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to create an attendance question in Google Classroom to make attendance taking very easy for you and everyone in the school is going to do this because when we move to SyncGrade, this attendance question will be picked up by SyncGrade and you'll have a record of the students attending. Um, so everybody's going to do this similarly. It, the only thing that's going to change is what you put for your content area. So the first thing you're going to do is come to your classwork section in one of your Google Classrooms. And you're going to click on Create. And you're going to click on Question. And you are going to type in the content that you teach. So I'm going to put ELA. And I'm going to put attendance and I'm going to put Wednesday October 7th and I'm going to change this from short answer to multiple choice and the only option I'm going to give my students is present or you could put something cute like I'm ready to learn it's really up to you the next thing you're going to do is come to the right hand side here and you're going to click on ungraded. You're not going to want to have points for this assignment because otherwise you have to go in and manually give the students a grade. If you keep it as an ungraded assignment, it's either they turned it in or they didn't. So this is an easy way to avoid having to manually enter a grade for everyone for this assignment. And then you're going to make this due date the same date that you are taking attendance for. So for example, I'm taking attendance for Wednesday, October 7th. I'm going to make sure that my due date is set for that date as well. Now, because we're taking attendance by period, we want to make sure that we are taking attendance within the time frame of that period. So this is for class 8DA. And on Wednesdays, I have them first period. So I want this to be due about 10 minutes or so after the period begins so that if they do click on present later than the 10 minute cutoff, I know that they did this late. So I'm going to change the due time to 840 which is 10 minutes after the period begins. And I'm just going to double check again that the dates match up. Wednesday, October 7th, this is October 7th, 8.40 a.m., which is 10 minutes after first period begins. Then I'm going to go down here to where it says topic. And I already have a bunch of topics created. If you don't have a topic for attendance yet, all you have to do is click here where it says create a topic and you would just type in attendance and it would create the topic for you. Um, but because I already have a topic for attendance, I'm just going to select my topic. And um, then I'm going to schedule this for the date that I have here and the date it's due. So you're going to schedule it for October 7th. And it may give you that error message only because um, right now the default was set to 1.05 p.m. But... I want this to be assigned a little bit before the period begins. So I'm going to set this to be pushed out at 8.20 a.m. So I like to set my questions up to be scheduled about 10 minutes before the class. And then about 10 minutes after the class begins is when I have them due. And then um, you'll see once you set the time um, that's before the due date time, it will let you set it. So then I'm going to click schedule and it's going to bring me back to my classwork section and you'll see that I have my attendance scheduled. Um, I don't have Tuesday, I did Monday already, um, but I'll show you how to do this again. You're just going to hit create, question, ELA, attendance. Tuesday, October 6, 2020, um, and multiple choice, present, ungraded. Now again, I'm checking that my due date is the same as the date that I am taking attendance for. 
So October 6th is a Tuesday. I have 8D, a third period, which begins at 10.04. So I'm going to make this be due at 10.14 a.m. And I'm going to schedule this about 10 minutes beforehand at 10, at 9.54 a.m. and it's going to put it in my classwork section so you'll see I have all of these um, scheduled assignments sent out I forgot one very important thing I forgot to put the topic here so you see I put it to the top of my Google classroom that's an easy fix so I just go into edit and I click on the topic and I hit schedule again and then it'll be on the right place um, also I like having my attendance in order so if you need to move something on Google classroom you can just drag and drop it also you can drag and drop topics too so I have my attendance um, at the top because it's usually um, the first thing I want to check that went out to my students so you can move your topics up if you need to. You can move them down too. So wherever you want to move your topics, you can drag them around also. So if you want to have it at the top like I do, you can. Also moving forward. So now like let's say I am going to schedule my attendance for the following week. You can just keep reusing the, the question. So I'm going to click on um, create reuse the post now you want to do it within the same class so I'm gonna make sure that I'm reusing from class 8 DA because that's the class I'm in now and I want to schedule my attendance for Tuesday October 13th and the questions gonna stay the same but my due date is going to change. And on Tuesdays, I have 8 D8 third period. And I'm going to make this due at 10.14 a.m. Make sure it's ungraded. Make sure it's assigned to attendance. And I'm going to schedule it out for the same date that's here. And in the due date. So October 13th. And I want to schedule it for about 10 minutes before the period begins. So that's 9.54 a.m. And I'm going to schedule that out. And that's how you reuse a post. And that's how you can schedule your attendance. And you can do this. I like doing this on Fridays and doing it a week in advance. You could do it a day in advance. Whatever works for you. If you have any questions, you can see either myself or any of the other coaches. And we will help you. Uh, with this. I hope you found this video helpful. Bye.